You know, bigger doesn't always mean better. Today, on Topher's Take. I was kind of thinking about what I wanted to... S I was kind of thinking about what I wanted to say this week, and there's been a kind of a theme that's come up in my life this week, and conversations, and some other stuff. What is the best thing you've ever ate? Or, you know, the best thing you ever ate. Was it at a chain restaurant? Was it someone one of your friends made? Was it at a local mom and pops? No. I'm willing to say that it's probably not at a chain restaurant. I'm going out on a limb there. And we were talking about, me and somebody were talking about our favorite actors. You know, and... We both agreed that some of our favorite actors are that guy, you know. For me, it's Vincent De uh, DeHertical. And you would know him if you saw him, you know. And hence, that's the, you know, oh, it's that guy, you know, kind of mentality. And I know I might be getting into dangerous waters here. But who are some of your favorite bands? If some of your favorite bands, if all your favorite bands are the ones you hear on the radio, and if they're like Miley Cyrus, uh, Taylor Swift, oh, One Nation, Justin Timberlake, yeah, go ahead and stop listening now. You know, just unsus unsubscribe and this podcast is not for you. Uh, but maybe you're like me that some of your favorite bands are relatively unknown. You know, unless you're in the community like Leper. You know, Insomniac Folklore. You know, and so on. You see, bigger doesn't always mean better, does it? And yet we have this mentality in our society where we're driven. You know, that we want to be the best. You know, we want our kids to be pro athletes or... We want our kids to be the doctor who finds a cure for some disease. You know, we want, we don't want a ministry that serves a few people. We want a ministry that serves millions, you know. We want to go to the super church because bigger doesn't always equal better. I mean, but yeah, we strive for that. You know, and there was a line in a sermon, you know, that, that I heard this week that are we seeking God's glory or our good? You know, and if you look scripturally, you know, yes, prophets were called to speak to the nation. But they were also called to speak to people individually, like kings. You know, I don't think some of the best people set out to be the best people. I don't think Paul set out to be famous. I think Paul set out to seek God's glory. I don't think Mother Teresa set out you know, for her good or to be famous. I think she set out seeking God's glory. 
I don't think, you know, the martyrs or the early church fathers set out for their own good, but rather they set out for God's glory. And, you know, it has, that's what I've been thinking on, you know, this week is in a society where we are so, so driven to be the best or expect the best or we want the best. Is that our, our good? Is the best our good for God's glory? You know, and sometimes the best, bigger doesn't always mean better. I mean, God could have you do a simple task to his glory. I mean, everybody knows Paul. But if Ananias, if Ananias had not stopped and prayed for him, you know, and I don't know if we would have Paul. Yeah, that is the only reference we have about Ananias, is he's a dude who prayed for Paul. So, my question is, if God just wants you to beat someone as Ananias for his glory, and if God just wants you to sew or make quilts for his glory, and if God never calls you to have an international ministry for his glory, are you okay with that? Are you okay with just simply pursuing God's glory and not necessarily being the biggest in what you do? all I got for you guys today. Peace.